You need a website for your business, but you may not have a budget set aside to hire a designer. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's never been easier to create your own WordPress website. And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it in just about 10 minutes. And once you get the basics, you can create just about any page and any section you'll ever need for your entire site using a really simple drag and drop page builder, no coding and no designer needed. So let's get your website started. Now, step one, you know, to create a WordPress website, you need WordPress hosting. And the hosting is basically just a really reliable remote computer space where all your files and pages are digitally stored. So there are really a ton of good web hosts out there. Just pick one that fits your budget. And in most cases, going with the most basic option is gonna be good enough, especially when you're just getting started but you do wanna make sure that you're buying WordPress hosting specifically. That's when they'll let you purchase your domain name if you don't already have one. In fact, many web hosting companies will throw in a free domain name when you buy their hosting. And for more on choosing the best domain name for your business, check out this video right up here. So once you've got your domain name and your hosting plan picked out, this is the time to start step two, which is gathering design inspiration for your new website because if you've never done this before, it can be scary to not know what your site should look like, right? What I like to do before any new website project is look around the web for you know, existing sites that I think have an overall look and feel that would be appropriate and interesting for that specific business. Now, when you do this, you could be looking at your competition to see what they may be doing, but chances are they probably aren't doing anything worth borrowing from. My secret weapon here is going to a website called themeforest.com. Now this is just an online marketplace that sells thousands of really nicely designed WordPress themes. So what I'd recommend is putting aside an hour or two to just look through a lot of the demo sites they have to see what kinds of layouts, color schemes, image styles, fonts, and overall vibes that you think would lend themselves well to your business. Now I do wanna clarify this. I am not saying to rip off what you find there. The mission here is not to copy, it's to cherry pick little elements that you like from several different sites that you can essentially remix and reshuffle into something that's unique to your business. Then once you have a pretty good idea of what you want your site to look like, it's time to get our hands dirty and actually create your new website. And I've got a really easy and fun to use free WordPress plugin that's gonna help you out. Just make sure you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, which should look like this. From here, you're gonna to go to the left sidebar panel, find plugins, add new. Then just type starter templates into the search bar and this is the one you're looking for. So just click install now, then activate. After it activates, click on the library and this is where you'll find hundreds of entire pre-made site kits. Many of them are free. Just look for choices that don't have this yellow premium designation on them. Now, what you're looking for here is overall layout over anything else. You're likely gonna be changing the colors and you'll certainly be changing the images. So don't get either dazzled or put off by that stuff. I usually like to start by choosing one of these first two options. I find them to be the easiest to customize and you can upload your logo now in this step or you can choose to do it later. You can choose from some pre-made color combos and font combos if you'd like or you can use your own colors and any Google fonts you want to. Then just fill out a bit of basic info about you and your business. Make sure these boxes are all checked, then click the blue button. From here, this pre-made site kit, the page building plugin Elementor, as well as the Astra theme will all be installed on your WordPress in just one click. And that usually takes just a few minutes. And then once that completes, you're gonna to get to see a preview of what you're starting from. You'll see it comes pre-populated with some basic sections, as well as other popular pages that many business websites need. But this is just the starting point after all. Now it's time to customize it for your business. It's really easy to get started. Just click Edit with Elementor in this top bar here. Now we're in the Elementor building environment. So you'll see the screen is now split into two sides with your dashboard on the left and the staging area on the right. And the way this works is the staging area 
is made up of sections which contain columns and within those columns you can place widgets that you'll find over here in the dashboard and every placed widget including text can be deleted, moved, or edited by clicking on it over here, then editing the text over here. We can then do the same for the subheadline as well as for the button. We can change the text of the button, where it links to, and the style of it, including the colors. And this goes for all the elements on the entire page. Just click on whatever you want to change and start editing. We can also change the background image just as easily by selecting the section, going up to style, then click on choose image. Just drag whatever image you like onto the screen, click the blue button, and you're good to go. And if you need to add a section, just go to the section where you'd like to insert a new one on top of it, press the plus button, then click the starter templates icon. Just make sure you select blocks, then you've got hundreds of pre-made layouts that you can add and edit, just like how I showed you. Deleting a section is even easier, just find the section you want to get rid of, then click the little x. And make sure you always click the update button to save your work, then you can follow the same steps for all your other pages. So those are the basics, but if you'd like a much more in-depth Elementor web creation tutorial, click this video right here. Otherwise, click here for the next video in the series where I'm going to show you how you can build on your new website with all the best SEO tricks that you can use to get found by more of your best customers in search. I'll see you there. Thank <laughs> you.